This is how I have clamped the sill pieces all assembled ready for welding. I'm going to clean off the surfaces where I'm going to weld next and paint the inside of the sill body color. But I wanted to take a picture here of how I've clamped it so that you can see what I've done. Uh, I have a clamp over on the bottom over there and then I have four butt weld clamps. You can buy these at Harbor Freight. They leave a 40 thousandths gap. I think I might have my gap a little bit larger than I wanted over here, but I'm going to try to weld through the excess gap there. Over on the other side, I'll show you how those clamps work on the inside. They pass through and it's just a metal piece 40 thousandths thick that goes through a slot and a metal piece over here that holds the other side. Now what I've done is I went to my local sheet metal shop and bought a piece of copper. I was looking for something like eighth inch copper um, to act as a backing over where the weld goes and I couldn't, he didn't have any so he did have some thinner copper and he uh, for five dollars he cut me a nice long piece and he folded it over on his brake so it's uh, double thickness so I hope that that's good. it's certainly better than nothing and I've got it nice and firmly clamped on the back side all the way back there's four clamps there so that's going to hold it uh, quite flush um, this gap over here is not getting welded here it's below that so that's not a problem I think that's going to work out well especially you know being not an expert welder I need every advantage I can get over here uh, this is how I will clamp the extension from the sill up to the side of the car over here and I've got it's nice and tight I'll put a uh, plug weld in here probably another one below here I gotta watch out for this hole here gotta leave that open that's where the splash rear splash plate attaches but uh, over on this thing it's very tight I'm gonna weld it on the inside a seam weld and I've got these places over here and all and along to the edge to attach the sill to the side of the car of course once I get that everything done in this area will go the new B post and that will bind everything together even tighter because it has a whole bunch of spot plug welds that will go along the flanges of the B post. So that's the way I'm planning on clamping it for welding uh, but before I actually get to the welding I'm going to do a whole bunch of cleanup and I'm going to paint the inside of the sill with the, with the body color I've been using which is the Rust-Oleum Red. So that's it for this session. Okay, so here I, is the result of my welding of the sill onto the car, finally. It took me forever, but I have finally done it. And as you can see here, this is the butt weld where the front inner sill plate attaches to what was left of the inner sill plate in the car. So I have welded down the edge over here with some spot welds, plug welds. Then a whole million little instantaneous little chuk 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 welds to close up this butt. Then along here, some spot welds into the other side, plug welds. And then over here, on the bottom of the B post, I have welded the flanges over on this side. Not too pretty because I haven't ground them yet. You're getting to see the raw result of my slowly improving welding. I hope the light is good enough. I got my hand in the way. You can see the result of the butt weld as far as the penetration will be here on the inside. That goes all the way back underneath and it's penetrated nicely. If I whack it with my hand, quite solid.
And over here on the back side, you have the B post. B post has not been replaced yet. But here's that special piece I made. A uh, whole bunch of spot welds over here, plug welds. Uh, this area, plug welds. Behind here is the uh, rear um, body to frame mount. Uh, and I had a little bit of a gap, so I actually put in an extra piece in between the sill and the body to frame mount to fill the space. I also repaired that body to frame mount in an earlier video. Uh, I think I showed you that I only had half a mount there. And I was finally able to free the nut. That was a very difficult thing. I was able to free that nut that holds that rear body to frame mount. A little bit of heat and uh, a candle going down the threads and then followed by a whole bunch of penetrating oil. After about three weeks it finally came loose. It was tough. This is I'll show you what these welds look like on the inside. That's what it looks like there. You can see I've got some decent penetration on the whack. It's really solid here. I could stand, I was just standing on the sill. Very solid, so I'm really pleased with the result. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, grind the welds down. Uh, there's, of course, more welding to be done on this, but uh, that's like 90% of the hard part. So next thing I'll grind it down, I'll show you what that looks like after.